in this video we're going to show you something that I've had quite a few people ask me about and this has been over the years and there's always been a program available to do this and this is helpful not only from any of your embroidery software but from any program that's on your computer that has the print option this makes it very easy to make a PDF file of anything that you can normally send to your printer so this is this is going to be really helpful uh, for anybody that wants to create PDF files for maybe your customer uh, sheets of your printout of your stitches or anything like that it's it's wonderful to be able to email them a complete PDF file and be able to do it within just seconds but before we can do it that quickly we've got to install the program I'm going to show you how to do that uh, we need to go to the website the program is free the program is called do PDF and so we just need to go to do PDF dot com now I've already installed the program on my machine but I'm going to do it again just to show you how easy it really is so we'll hit enter there once we go and we'll get to uh, do PDF um, make sure you're in the right place because it's it's got a lot of ads and stuff on here but this this has been tested by me for years and this is a great program there's no spyware or anything like that with it um, actually the company has a full version that they sell but this this uh, free version will do everything you need to do as far as just making a PDF instead of a printout um, so make sure you're at the right website and um, we'll come and click on this link here that says a free download and uh, once that download starts we'll say save file as you can see here it's in our uh, download progress bar here it just takes just a few seconds it's not very big once it's downloaded we're going to double click on that which will actually open the installer program we're going to get uh, two security warnings we're going to say run and then another warning here warning us that we're actually installing something on our computer we're going to say yes from here we're going to pretty much use all the default options here I'm going to pick English this kind of tells us what the program does we will say next and of course we have to accept the license agreement and we'll say next uh, we can leave the rest of this stuff as default as far as where it's going to install it what it's going to call it and on this one here it's asking do we want that PDF 7 to be our default printer and we're not going to check that uh, because we don't really want to do that we only want to do it when we choose to make a PDF so we'll go through here uh, clicking next and install and let it finish here it's a very short little program it's not going to take up much space on your computer it will just be a handy little thing to have and like I say this works from any program that you have that is able to send something to the printer you can automatically make a PDF out of that so now that it's finished it's asking us to restart our computer and I'm gonna say no because it will work without doing that and then I'm gonna close our downloads window and um, to show you an example of how this is gonna work I do not have um, anything on my computer as far as embroidery software except for um, the Pulse Ambassador and I have that um, installed on this computer and it's all this program is is first of all it's not available anymore and since I'm a digital pack rat I have a old installer version of this and I installed it on this computer so that I can view embroidery designs but it's very similar to lots of uh, embroidery software as far as the basic function of making a printout it has no editing features all it lets you do is load an embroidery file and also you can save it as another type of file but you can also make printouts from it so we're going to be using this today but it doesn't matter what you have once that program is installed like I just showed you this will work from any program that you have so I have a design on the screen here we're going to go up to our print preview button and you're going to see a design sheet like almost any other embroidery software generates it has options so you can turn certain things on and off and that's really not the point here is we want this sheet after we get it the way we want it we want to be able to have a file that we could email to our customer so that they could open it in something that you know they can open a PDF being a portable document format allows almost 
anybody with a free PDF reader to open it. And so that's our purpose here is to get this sheet instead of a hard copy on paper into a file that the customer can open. So we've got it laid out the way we want it here. We're just going to go up to print. Now this is where normally you would have your default printer would show up here. Maybe your desktop printer or something like that. It would normally print to. Not in this case. We need to drop this down and choose do PDF driver right here. And what that's going to do, instead of going to your printer, it's going to send this information to the do PDF program and it will generate the PDF file for us. So once you select that do PDF there, um, you can make any changes you want here. You can have it, if you have multiple pages, you can do all that just like you would if you're printing something to a printer. And we're just going to click OK. Now the pop-up here is a little bit of information. It wants to know what we want to do with this. And you get to choose a few things here, like when you're done, do you want to open it in a reader? We're not going to choose that. Um, and once we set a folder, we can, we can choose whether we always want to use that folder. I'm going to ha have this file right here it t is asking where do we want to put this PDF file. And I'm going to have it directed to put it on my desktop. So I'm going to select Browse Desktop and then Save. And as you can see here, it's now going to go to my desktop. And if we wanted to change the name, we can change the name right here. It's called Curly K Small, which was the name of our embroidery file. Um, but that's how easy it is to do. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now it takes just a second or so for it to make a PDF. And the PDF has appeared over here on my desktop. Um, you can't see it. But what I'm going to do is double click on it. And that quickly, it opens right into a PDF reader. And just that quickly, we have a PDF file that we can email to a customer, client, whatever you want to email it to. Um, or even keep as a digital copy if you'd want to do that. Rather than keeping a piece of paper, you could keep that PDF file because they're generally pretty small. And that would be how quickly we can make that PDF file. This is just opened in my Adobe Reader. Um, so we can, you know, we can zoom in and out on it or whatever we want to do. But everything that was on our sheet that normally would have went to the printer is now in a PDF file. So remember, that's that works from any program. Once you have that do PDF installed, you could go into Microsoft Word, and when you go to print a document and you say, oh, I need a PDF of that, instead of your default printer, just choose the do PDF driver and your file will be output to a PDF. That works in anything on your Windows that has um, the print option where you can select what printer you want to send it to, um, whether it's an Excel sheet or anything else, it will make a PDF out of it. So I know lots of people that have got this and use it on a regular basis. It's really, really handy. It's a very small program. It takes up hardly any room on your computer and it's not in the way of anything because it's only there when you want to use it by just going up here and even from the reader here we could pick the um, driver if we want to make a PDF of a PDF we pick it right there do PDF instead of our default printer and boom it saves a PDF file right to your computer and um, that's a great way to get a electronic copy of anything to send to customers and, and clients so Hope that video helps you out. Um, that's a real easy process. If, uh, if you have trouble with it, uh, go back and watch it again through the install process. It's really easy, but hopefully that helps everybody out.